Marco, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make the perfect paper airplane. So step one is you grab a white piece of paper, or any kind of piece of paper, and you lay it on a flat surface portrait-wise. So step two is you grab the two top pieces, the two top pieces of the paper, corner pieces, you fold it down. So you kind of leave a little space between the two pieces of paper. And you can, you tr try to line it up perfect. But you don't have to be that perfect because the less perfect it is, it's kind of better. So now you, step three is you fold it down to the kind of the middle of the paper and then you fold it. You have a sharp fold. So now it looks like an envelope. You open it and now it looks like an envelope. Step four is you grab these two, the like this top corner top piece of paper, and you kind of you kind of lay it crooked, not straight, because that's not like you lay it crooked. And then fold it down, and now you grab the other top corner piece of paper and overlap it on overlap it on the other piece of paper. You overlap it. Now you have a little piece of paper that's hanging that's by itself. Now you fold it on top of those two pieces of paper. Fold on top so it looks like that. With that piece of paper, you grab it and then you pinch it. You pinch it down. It doesn't have to be perfect because the the less perfect it is, it flies much better because it turns a lot and everything. So you fly in down, and now you kind of have a, it looks like more like a paper airplane. So now you fold it down like this, not too big, not too small or not too big, just right. Kind of fold it down, it's kind of just right. Now you grab the other piece of paper, and it doesn't have to be perfect because now you just have to now you just kind of line it up with the piece of the other piece of paper that you did. You can line it up. And now if you when you just line it up, it looks really good. So now it looks much more like a paper airplane. Now you have a little thing so you can fly it. Next, you grab the wing. And you fold it right in the middle. Not too big or not too small, just right. Now you fold it a second time. And now you have the little flying. It's like you can see in the... Now you, now you do the same thing on the other side. Fold it a second time. Now you have it. And that's how you make your perfect paper airplane. And now you can go fly it outside. Okay. So now you're outside and you want to kind of fly it, not too soft because when you fly too soft, it just falls down. And not too hard because if you just chuck it as hard as you can, it just goes everywhere. So you kind of want it to have a 45 degree angle and you want to throw it just right. That's how you make your perfect paper airplane.